Hello and welcome to the Difa Diving YouTube channel. I have Nora with me today. I'm Alex. We are instructors at Difa Diving and we are going to talk about our favorite courses to teach today. Nora, tell me, what is your favorite course? Ah, uh, well, I actually thanks to COVID, haven't got the opportunity to teach them many courses and become like a more experienced mm -hmm. uh, dive instructor. But I do have to say that the couple courses, open water courses that I've taught, they have been great. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's my favorite so far because it's the one that I've taught the most. Mm -hmm. uh, and also because uh, you can see the transition of the students. Uh, I mean, someone who has never been underwater before, see that excitement and then a little bit of that level of fear and then see the entire transition when they become divers, it's great. So I think that's very exciting and yeah, it's nice to, to be a part of that. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, open water to me is super rewarding. I've been instructed for a little while now, um, for best part of 10 years now. And uh, as Nora says, it's amazing when you've got somebody who's just that little bit nervous, that yeah. little bit anxious the first time they get in the water and you see them progress um, and go through that stage of, oh my God, this is just so amazing. Yeah. This is what I want to be doing. And mm. then they become really, really good divers. And often people who are, um, a little bit nervous of the water actually become much much better divers because they have uh, this appreciation of what's down there and mm -hmm. what they're seeing and also of what they have achieved. What do you like best about the open water course? The, uh, the skills, the, the dives? The uh, well at the beginning when I was thinking about being a dive instructor it was like oh I'm gonna have to teach the skills but right now it's actually fun because you get to I mean you know how to do them already when you're a dive master you're kind of struggling with the skills trying to do them perfectly but then once you're teaching them you realize that first of all they are important they need you need to teach them well mm -hmm. and it's again part of the process of watching that student progress I mean you see the student doing the skills in confined first and then in open water and you see the advance they actually make and how comfortable they become doing them especially with the mass clearance mm. I think that's a skill that everybody struggles with at, at the beginning so yeah it's rewarding I, I like it yeah and my favorite part on the open water course as an instructor, quite apart from working with the student, is that for us here, being on a Caribbean island, yeah. um, we don't have to use a swimming pool. We have the ocean ah, right on true. our doorstep here, and uh, we're very, very lucky, touch wood. Most of the time, the water is clear and... Uh, we have good calm conditions and so when we go to practice skills out there um, there's always the chance of seeing something different something that's a little bit exciting like the upside down jellyfish the other day you know when you go out and um, you know you get down hover close to the sand and there's just this kind of thing sticking yes. up and uh, it might be a bobbed worm or a crab or flying or gunards yes oh, and those yes. are so beautiful to see for the first time yeah Apart from the open water, the one that I particularly like is um, the rescue course. <laughs> Just because mm -hmm. rescue is one of the more challenging courses. Mm -hmm. It's the one where people are already divers uh -huh. and they are committed to being a diver. Yeah. So, you know, they want to learn more, they want to challenge themselves. Almonds! Almond season! <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, so rescue puts both the student and the instructor kind of food their paces but mm -hmm. it's incredible fun yes um, the rescue course takes around four days uh, start off with a little bit of theory of course as always and then you get in the water and uh, then we go on out to the boat and that's where the real fun starts so this is where yeah. then you the are, real scenarios yes, yes exactly it can be kind of exhausting yes it is exhausting yes and uh, you always end up with a, with a, uh, a nice collection of bruises, <laughs> especially when you're being the victim. You know? oh, and Just I have a little bit of experience being the victim. <laughs> I think I might hold the record here at Deeper Diving for being rescued. <laughs> Go, yeah, a little between bit. Between you and Andre. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Andre. <laughs> 
uh, but it's so much fun. I really like it. Uh, it's uh, real life scenario cases, but it, it totally takes your mind from being a fun diver to actually doing something and taking some responsibility when you're diving. And again, it's one that takes um, your student from somebody who's maybe a fairly comfortable diver to now um, somebody who is a lot more aware of uh -huh. what's going on in the water, a lot more yes. aware of what's going on around them, mm -hmm. and just makes them all together a lot more uh, confident and comfortable in the water yeah. because you are now focusing on things other than just your immediate uh -huh. um, surroundings and so it's just a really good course uh, for both the student and the teacher as well because yeah. as I said it keeps us on our toes and uh, we have to be quite inventive sometimes as yes, well you know yes. in our scenarios and mm -hmm. you know placement of our victims and mm -hmm. uh, you know um, repeating exercises changing them slightly yeah. um, adapting to conditions because we always say there's no such thing as bad conditions for a rescue mm -hmm. because at the end of the day um, you have to rescue somebody you can't choose exactly. what the water is going to be like what the current mm -hmm. is going to be like so once we get to the point where um, we've finished our basic skills practice and we're ready to go out into the ocean as long as conditions are safe uh, to conduct the course you know there could be strong current there could be waves wind yeah. oftentimes when i teach it there's rain and so <laughs> yes. you um, a little bit more windy yeah you have the slight challenge of um, you know protecting your victim's um, rescue mask yes. because the rain is kind of sort of trickling down and you know as you're backing up against the waves and uh, yeah it's challenging to keep that airway protected yes <laughs> yeah. challenging and mm. uh um, when you complete the rescue course and uh, you have a, a beer to celebrate at the end of it, you know, you feel like you've really achieved something. Yeah. And one thing for sure, you will be sleeping quite much better at night mm. because it's very, very tiring, but so much fun. So any other course that's particularly more fun to teach? Um, well, I, I, I like PPB perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Really, really fun. It's just a series of buoyancy and trim exercises underwater so you get to take your fins off you get uh, hover in different positions you know uh, so it's really really nice because you just kind of fall around underwater <laughs> for like half an hour 45 mm -hmm. minutes and uh, yeah experience where you trim and buoyancy in ways that you don't actually do it often when you're fun diving so it's really really fun what's your favorite buoyancy skill Uh, the hovers. I have a favorite. The hovers. Yeah, I like hovering on my side because mm -hmm. that's something you, I mean, like, just do that pose uh, and then on your head. That's yeah. always fun. Yeah. yeah. And also the loop, the mm -hmm. going through the loop on your back, that's yeah. always challenging. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you uh, watch your student going so well, so well, so well, and then zoop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tank on the sand. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. What about the dive master course? I know you haven't taught one yeah. as yet, but uh... um, I mean, I haven't been in the entire process again. I've assisted a couple of days, so um, going through the rescue skills again—that's a fun day. And then the search and recovery—I mm -hmm. think that's really fun too. It's, it's something more practical that you're not used to doing as a fun diver, and it's also very good to refresh the skills when you are uh, mm. an instructor and uh, an assistant. So, yeah, that's fun too. I like it. Yeah. So, um, the reason I mentioned it is because we have a couple of dive master courses mm -hmm. coming up now later on this year, which I'm very much looking forward to because the dive master course is one where you can really get to know mm -hmm. people and uh, kind of, you know, work with people to achieve um, what they want to achieve, becoming a diving professional again, you know, becoming more comfortable in the water, uh, becoming more comfortable working with people. Yes. I mean, that's quite a big thing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's the first time you actually get to experience what it feels like to be uh, responsible for other people, so, like conducting a DSD, for example. Just taking people for a fun dive. Do you remember the first yeah. time you led a dive uh, exactly. and you had Bambi in the headlights? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, whoa. <laughs> so like, oh got... my God, I have to find cool stuff to show because this is kind of boring. I've got to find my way back to the boat. <laughs> ah, yes, that's a good one. <laughs> You know, simple things like the skills practice, perfecting the skills uh -huh. to a good standard. Um, the knots workshop. Ah, 
Yes, I like that one. Wonderful fun. (laughs) Yes. Again, super useful. I enjoy teaching the dive master because it's the opportunity to spend a good long time with people and really get to know them uh, you know become friends with people and again by the time you finish the course you just feel like um, you know not just the student but also as the instructor you've just really achieved something and uh, it's mm-hmm. immensely yeah. rewarding the fact of actually working at a dive shop as a dive master uh, the student gets to see that part so you being able to show it also it's really fun mm. yeah. yeah so that's all i've got on courses ah. okay so uh <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it if you guys have any more questions about any specific course that you would like us to talk about please leave the comment in the comment section below <laughs> give us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it already also uh activate the uh notifications if you would like to get more news on our videos and Safe diving. Thank you. (laughs) Bye.